Midas 2 was launched on May 24, 1960 at 5.36 p.m. UTC from Launch Complex 14 at Cape Canaveral. Midas stood for Military Defense Alarm System, and Midas 2 was a development test for a nuclear launch early warning system operated by the United States Air Force. It was obviously in response to the Soviet lead in ballistic missile technology, but it also changed the nature of Cold War strategy. Midas had a mass of 2.3 tons and was launched on an Atlas Agena A rocket to a 511 by 484 kilometer orbit at a 33 degree inclination. Midas 1 had failed on February 26, 1960 due to a bad separation between the Agena upper stage with the Atlas rocket causing the two to collide. Midas 2 successfully reached orbit, but the Agena stage lost communication after a dozen orbits. Altogether, the Midas program was a mixed bag and gave way to better early warning systems. The significance of Midas 2 may be more in the fact that it was the first successful launch of the Atlas Agena combination. Upgraded versions of this combination would continue launching payloads for 18 years launching Ranger and Lunar Orbiter spacecraft to the Moon ahead of the Apollo program. Mariner spacecraft to Venus and Mars, and the Gemini target vehicle used to practice docking and other activities during the Gemini program. This launch also continued the fitful development of the Atlas rocket for the eventual launch of John Glenn into orbit. The process of developing the rocket had so far seen numerous spectacular failures. And on that note, thank you for watching this mission profile of Midas 2.